who had a vision. His vision was to have a beautiful footbridge over the river from Riverfront Park here in Salem to Minto Brown Island Park. That young councilman went on to become uh, a, a House member, caucus leader in the Oregon House, and then he went on to become the longest serving Senate president in the Oregon Senate by a magnitude of two, eight years, eight, eight terms. So in honor of his distinguished service here in the Senate, and a successful session here in the legislature, Senator Ferrioli and I, in consultation with the, um, with the Senate President's staff and, and my staff in the Senate Majority Office, decided that the best gift could be a renewal of the vision that Senator Courtney had at the beginning of his career, which the Salem City Council put into effect this year in the form of a beautiful bridge across the river from Riverfront Park to Minto Island uh, Park. And I have walked that bridge. It is a wonderful experience, and we all owe it and so much else uh, to Senator Courtney. So when it came time to honor Cor Senator Courtney uh, for this uh, session and for his career, we commissioned uh, this artwork, which you'll see in a minute, uh, from our uh, impressive artist in residence, Lorraine Dye, who is our uh, Senate uh, chamber receptionist. And so with uh, great gratitude, uh, we are pleased to present Senator Courtney with this picture. Where's Senator? The, uh, the picture, of course, is symbolic in many ways of the role that the presiding officer, and particularly Peter, Michael, Martin, Johnson, Joseph, <laughs> Edison, Coleman, Courtney, has played uh, in our lives and in this legislative session, certainly. May, uh, many of you may have noticed there seems to be a different tenor and tone in the upper chamber than there is in the lower chamber, uh, largely because of the guiding influence and steadying hand of the presiding officer, uh, Senator Courtney. So we hope that this bridge, which not only symbolizes the connections between all of us in the Senate, uh, also will be a reminder to the president as he looks at this image of all of the relationships that we have had in the Senate family. So again, before I yield the microphone to the ever articulate President Courtney, please join me once again in uh, commemorating this picture to his service, uh, to his uh, uh, incredible talent as a presiding officer, and to the incredible record that he has uh, he is given us in the Senate for this legislative session. Thank you, Mr. President. reference to ever articulate it's about to go by the boards uh, uh, this is not uh, this is not good uh, <laughs> you know uh, I don't like emotion uh, under certain circumstances and I'm a, a bit of a loner so uh, I did not see this coming uh, 
So uh, all I'll say is I wish that my wife and my sons and their family could be here. Uh, this is uh, very hard for me, this bridge, uh, because I, uh, I don't go near it too much because it's uh, uh, the people involved with the original moments back in the 70s, so many of them are gone. And I feel a bit guilty because I simply represent them with this little thing. So, uh, but it is uh, very significant to a guy who uh, came from so far away and who, uh, <clears throat> who uh, you know, uh, ended up here. So, uh, I wish I'd seen this coming. I don't like this. All I'm going to say is I'm very grateful to uh, you, Senator Ferrioli, and Senator Burdick, and to every member of the Senate. Uh, it's an incredible honor and a privilege to be here today as an Oregonian, as a state senator, but also as a Salemite. I uh, cherish my days on the Salem City Council and my days at the YMCA, where I lived for two years with the Murphy bed coming out of the wall. I cherish this state and her people, and I'm so glad that my wife is a native, our three sons are a native, some of my grandchildren are native, and my dog's a native. And I'm just so glad the gods let me come to this great state of Oregon, my Oregon. And you're very, very kind on this July 4th. I will never forget this day. Thank you.